Hello and welcome to Adventure Story Channel, my dear friends. Today we will make a simulation with our main engine turbo charger to see what will happen if we have a dirty exhaust side of turbo charger. So as you can see here, we are going full away. We are running our engine. Uh, I will tell you exactly in what RPM, managing RPM it's about uh, 74 as you can see if you press uh, the pointer on uh, the, the indications here that we have you can see exactly here in the corner uh, the respective indication of pressure or RPM so as you can see here uh, G represents the flow we have flow from scavenging air receiver of air inside to the engine and also we can see the temperatures is about 346 348 350 349 about we keep like that also we can see that uh, we have our turbocharger temperatures and we can see clearly here that the temperatures which is uh, the temperature that enters from the exhaust receiver here and going to turbocharger from here uh, it's about 254 degrees 254 and also the other turbine about the same I have never seen so much close indication normally uh, all the temperature uh, sensor have deviations that is true and if you have such uh, measurements between the electronic indication inside the control room and the local one you have big differences first of all you need to calibrate all uh, the necessary instrument so you will have a better idea what is going on inside your engine this is the most common mistake that most of engineers make uh, they direct try to overhaul the equipment but uh, never test it and never calibrate the gauges and the sensors so when you're done with that you will have much much clear uh, view and indication of what is going inside your engine also the purpose of the logbook is to remind us the previous temperatures and the pressures and also to close monitor the temperatures and the pressures through the time of the engine and that's how you can understand and you can see how the weather interacts with the ship machineries due to the sea temperature changes also you can see the differences with atmospheric pressure how it involves in all the machineries and the most important machinery it's our main engine on board the vessel this is a vital machinery which drives and propels the ship and keep it safe uh, through the weather through the uh, oceans and will keep uh, the ship as much as possible uh, in maneuvering condition so let's see also that we have our turbocharger speed which is about 7200 rpm uh, they are close together they are going sometimes 700 uh, 7300 also the rpm depends from the weather if the weather will be increased but you will have the same set point of your managing let's say 74 rpms if the weather will be increased and how you will understand that when you will 
uh, at morning time on the engine you will see that yesterday you have 74 rpm but today morning time you have same 74 rpm but the rpm of turbocharger is 700 let's say 5 500 so you will know from this indication that the weather conditions have changed and you have a weather that your ship face uh, from the reaction of the waves you will see that something had changed you you will not need any other instrument by only that you can exactly understand what is going uh, on the outside weather so this is one indication i like to share with you and another thing also you can see the specific consumption of the vessel that also will be increased from the previous uh, time also you will see bigger consumption of the engine uh, when the flow meters will be received on the noon and also from the slip calculation it will be visible what is going on with the weather so uh, there is two conditions also that uh, will affect on the vessel this is the water condition and also the wind, con wind conditions and directions so let's go to our uh, that is a little bit intro uh, and about some share of tips another thing that we can see here is uh, the differential pressure of uh, our air cooler and what we are means here with DDP or in Greek we say Delta P this is differential pressure across the entrance of the air from the turbocharger here this is the point which is the air inserts and there is an outlet point where the air exerts and already cooled down so the density of the air is much much higher than was entered and through this travel of the air we have a reduction of differential pressure because as we know there is cells here where air travels and if this differential goes higher that means uh, that our air cooler uh, becomes dirty this is a one kind of indication this kind here of metal and this prevents this called the mister the mister prevents also the water enters uh, scavenging air spaces and the cylinders inside so very very close monitor must be done from this side glasses which is done below and there is a label and note that shows that this kind of side glasses must be kept clean and monitored that the condensate from the air cooler goes to build a holding tank uh, and there is not any restriction of that flow and also the water do not enters the space of the scav engine and the cylinder itself as we know the water uh, water is the worst component for the engine and due to the mixture of the fuels and the oils we will avoid the formulation of uh, oxides inside our engine and we will reduce also the possibility of uh, wear so let's make this uh, experimental uh, view what of what is going on if our exhaust uh, impeller exhaust side will be dirty let's see how our engine reacts let's see what will happen with the temperatures which kind of cylinders will be affected 
and how our air cooler will be affected compare uh, number one so we will simulate on number two turbocharger we will see also how the differential pressure will change we will see the temperatures and which cylinders affected and we will try to see as much as possible more things so we will understand better what is going on uh, on our engine so we have a lot of solutions we have the solution of 20 degrees of dirty of percent of dirtiness or we can make it 50 or 70 but my opinion is so we have a better visual effect we will make it 70 or 80 percent so let's go to make that let's close our pen and we will go here back on the menu let's see process overview panel so i like now uh, to see the overview the first page let's see our uh, indication and as you have seen i also uh, have made some videos a long time ago about uh, the funnel and what we can see and what we can determine so this is normal uh, for our engine so also uh, in some videos we try to adjust to make it much much better uh, the combustion process so let's see how we'll go back uh, to the first page and the page where we process all the necessary equipment uh, in the beginning so let's see home ok process overview ok panel here ship general control no ok I will check one by one page so I can find it quickly I know which which button is it's F9 but if I press it uh, the recording will be stop so no I do not like okay here we are uh, F5 I press F5 so let's go to malfunction here malfunction page malfunction page okay turbo charger system so we have selected uh, our number two turbo charger exhaust turbine dirty 70 percent so i will make it on and let's directly see what is going on of our turbo charger so as you can see direct the temperature increases the exhaust gas temperature increases and also increase we have increase uh, on the outlet already it's going to 120 so let's see what is going with our rpm the rpm drops the rpms of turbocharger drops and just check how much the temperature here increases to level uh, to a dangerous level so also the differential pressure drops so that means we do not have so much good flow we have a lower rpm let's see it yes it's about 500 rpms less and then we will have shutdown but this is a heavy heavy uh, dirty blades 
so we are already in 460 degrees celsius and just check here we have turbo charger high temperature air outlet temperature so all the system here uh, start already managing slow down warning and our managing will slow down next so I will press F12 uh, we have exhaust outlet temperatures high normally we must reduce the speed of our main engine to lower uh, all the temperatures and let's see some other parameters here just check how much uh, condensation we have here just check uh, one moment i will stop a little bit here you see the g flow increases a lot much much a lot and we have a bigger production of cylinder cover also mean temperature goes really really high uh, we have also a really really big production of uh, vapor inside and the air because all our parts are, are really really hot the air condensates immediately inside the turbocharger so we have increased a uh, supply also of condensation here inside but check here the scavenging air temperatures not check as much okay was not changed uh, so much 43 uh, it's still accessible uh, still a temperature that is okay and we have also cylinder liner temperature increase we have a lot of alarms but this is really really heavy so we have slowed down from our engine we have our safety system work and also shunt generator uh, control also uh, it's going for trip so our engine slow down let's see also the rpms how much rpms we have 52 rpms so check also here we have difference on the turbocharger but now the temperatures as you can see they are fine so in this slow down uh, rpms our turbochargers are not working uh, at all they are only blow air like you can blow from your mouth so in this situation also our auxiliary blowers are running and now for now for the moment we are okay we have uh, still our navigation we have our engine running so maybe it is not so maneuvering uh, but we still we have our propeller uh, turning and working so we have seen what is going on when we have such problem with dirty tubo charger but if we have a slight dirtness there so maybe we have an increase of uh, exhaust gases and on the turbocharger uh, that we have uh, selected or was uh, dirty so let's see what alarms always we must uh, check the alarms this is really really important first we check the alarms we acknowledge them we understand what is going on and then we proceed next to the operation and the proper uh, resolve of the alarms so let's see we have 
main engine speed stabilize we have our auxiliary blowers working but for this purpose we must have sure our auxiliary blowers working also give a very very big attention to your auxiliary blowers to check always the amperage of the auxiliary blowers to keep them in the appropriate load of the amperage because if you're running for a prolonged time of your auxiliary blowers the bearings also will be worn and also the weeding will be destroyed through the time through the excess temperature which is rise from the excess amperage so the amperage also of the auxiliary blowers you can see local on the panel and sometimes uh, there is some indication which shows the safe area to not overload your auxiliary uh, blowers which is also very very important so if you have a small dirtiness of your turbocharger you, you probably to see the differences on the rpm so it will be 100 or 200 rpm but first of all always remember to check your devices and verify that they are working uh, properly like temperature sensors like uh, pressure sensors which also will need to calibrate so i hope you like this video my dear friends check also the previous videos we have made a lot of simulators and we will make more and more uh, interesting simulators and so on thank you again don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell button so we will have the opportunity to inform you from me uh, bye bye for the moment and see you in the next video don't forget to check also the play list see you bye bye